Welcome to the 57th race of the channel and today we are at Britain completing practice and moving up to tier 15 which we should have already been at which is a little bit annoying I may have to do a little bit more work in the race to get those experience points but um, ninth in practice not too bad 1.3 seconds off the pace so um, could be on for a good race as um, Nobuhara our teammate Eight tenths behind us on the same tyre, which is a little bit annoying. But if we keep up building our car, hopefully soon at one point, Nobuhara could be on pace with our, um, our pace. And um, we're just getting some team acclaim now. And um, our boost acclaim takes us just past level 10. And um, yeah, can't, can't remember if I changed it up last was the team colours, but I think I did. Anyway, um, how do you like it? It actually matches the card now. So, um, yeah. But just reading about Silverstone, Jeff doing us. And, um, yeah, we've got to change some of our power units so that we have the fresh, absolute freshest components for the race and qualifying. Meaning we can get the best out of the car. So we're just um, avoiding everything in the first column. And pretty much going for everything in the second column, apart from the ICE in which we are going for the first. But um, seeing if we can get some upgrades, and I do believe we are going to go for the front down force, which would be really important. Considering we're going to come to the Belgium Grand Prix, it's not too bad, which I'll be recording tomorrow. So um, yeah, let's go to qualify. Oh, it's red, red. Damn it. Anyway, here we are. The British Grand Prix. Another high setting the back to 42 8. And Sergio with 40.6. Sebastian so with 30. 39.1. 38.8. But we're going to come off this line for our first that in wet Britain 42 5 really bad but ahead of our teammates and we can't compete and yeah I had um, changed my uh, our livery to a uh, very special one for this weekend and we're going to go on for our second and final lap which will be obviously our best and we're going through turn 3 now we almost losing the car but we gain a couple of tenths even though that happens and then we lose it all in the apex of turn 3 which is a little bit annoying but we're going to gain some of that back in turn 4 and the run in towards turn 6 which I believe is lovely I have a cushion let me just check nope we're going into Brooklyn's okay we're in Brooklyn's now turn the corner just a little bit and now into Lafield and we're just going to come out of the corner going through um, the gears accelerating to 4, 5th finally in full power as we go through Woodcote, head towards Cops now, going breaking a bit 450 which we need to do for Cops in the wet which is a little bit annoying considering we don't need to do that in the dry we're going through Maggots and Beckets and um, don't know this one and I believe this one um, here now is Chapel 5 tenths up, not too bad 6 minutes remaining in the session and it looks like our engine components have got some wear which may be the I um, gearbox considering we need to change that for Hungary as we've done another 6 races since we last changed it but we're heading towards the final chicane, the Vale chicane now and um, we're going through club now and we're 8 tenths up hopefully we can gain a little bit more 9 tenths going across the final corner now we're going to almost gain a whole second and it puts us up into P20 for the time being and I can tell you that's where we finish in the um, whole qualifying thing because um, we didn't do that well um, yeah I was expecting a crush back down to reality don't know why I didn't expect it at Brun Goodbye for now then, but we're Fudge really just getting anyway. started. Again, a one two leading his teammates by almost um two thirds of a second. But we lead our teammate by about one tenth 
in three thousandths, which is a bit annoying. But I was expecting the crash back down to reality, and I've got one. But um, hopefully, this is it's just wet, and we can do much, much better in the dry. Um, dr um, getting beaten by um, Antonio in the rivalry, but we're nine points ahead of him. So hopefully, if we just get good results in the next couple of races, we should do well, and we should beat him. But um, first of all, to get good results, we got to participate in the race. So, and to participate in the race, we got to go to the race, and um, yeah, just checking on some things. But let's go to the race for Britain. Let's go. Great Britain then, one of only two countries to have held a Grand Prix in every single year of the Formula One World Championship. And the circuit extends that record further for today's Grand Prix. With good opportunities to overtake at the end of the Wellington and Hangar Straits, there's a lot of potential for close action around the 3.6 miles of the Silverstone circuit. With 18 corners and average lap speeds of around 145 miles per hour, it's also one of the longest and quickest circuits on the calendar. And as always, a man with plenty of racing experience joins me in the commentary box. Today, it's Anthony Davidson. Tell me, Ant, you're no stranger to surviving the melee of turn one. So how do you keep out of trouble when there's so much going on around you? Well, the throttle goes both ways, Crofty. You've got to have the discipline not to try and win the race on the first lap. So always be prepared to lift early and give those around you more space. Trying to be the last of the late breakers with half a dozen cars around you may pay off from time to time, but it's also a great way to lose your front wing. Before we begin, let's take a quick look at the grid lineup for today's race. Valtteri Bottas lines up on pole position, and Lewis Hamilton completes the front row. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Leclerc, Verstappen, Sebastian Vettel, and Sainz, Albon, Stroll, Perez, and Lando Norris, Ricardo, Kvyat, Pierre Gasly, and Ocon, Grosjean, Magnussen, Kimi Raikkonen, and Antonio Giovinazzi, Russell, the engineer, Matsushita, and Nicholas Latifi. It's almost time for the lights to go out, so let's head down to the track and get this Grand Prix underway. Here we are on the grid for the British Grand Prix, and as you can see from the, as you saw from the grid, um, let's see if we get in grid place penalty, so Max Sheeter will be behind us on the grid. And annoyingly, um, Gio, our rival, is one row ahead of us, so hopefully we can change that and um, take, uh, beat him in this race, and then we're just changing the strategy to how I want it to be. Maybe for the next race I should actually follow what the um, strategy says. But we get ready for three lights, four lights, and now five lights for the British Grand Prix. Now, now and it's lights out, and away we go. We get a poor start compared to our teammate. Actually, he's already gone alongside Russell into turn one. We're going to go on the inside of Russell as there's a gap, and maybe on the outside of um, Giovinazzi for turn two. We got past both Kevin and Kimi Raikkonen into um, turn two, and now turn three we get past the inside of Gio Giovinazzi, but there's two wide ahead of us. Gio is still there on our inside, but now he's make it to the inside. We're going to take a long route round. We don't get a penalty for going off the track and gaining advantage, but Gio has got so much speed in that Ferrari engine, and we go round, right round the outside into Brooklyn, and still into the field now, as um, Grosjean loses a little bit to Ogun, so maybe we can get the slipstream off them too to stay ahead of Gene the Nazi for a couple more corners and we're overtaking the uh, using the um, overtake button now going through um, cops and now we head towards the maggots and Beckett's complex but um, we skip that because nothing happens and we're going to the end of the first lap now right. and so um, all right we're looking good so far as Jeff as we have both Alpha and Mayors behind us right now as we go through turn four we go a little bit deep so um, it gives a Giovinazzi a little look to the inside, but he's got such a good run and so much power in that um, Ferrari engine in the back of that Alfa Romeo that he gets alongside us, but we break late into Brooklyn and we keep the position ahead of him. But we've got the old pit straight to um, uh, 
defend him from him now. And he's going to get a run. He's going to go towards the outside now. We've got to make sure that we fend him off and we do fend him off. And now we go into cops. But hopefully we get... Oh, we've gone really wide. So that may give Jiro a good run. But no, it doesn't. So we're um, quite good for now. Going through Maggots and Beckett's and keeping up with Grosjean just a little bit. But we get on the grass and Geo is now going to have a run at us. A runner at us going down the hangar straight. Hopefully we can keep ahead of him. He's going towards the outside for Stoke. Hopefully we can um, keep the inside line for Stoke. Yes, we do. Kimmy Wright and also there trying to have a look at us as well. But um, we make sure that that doesn't happen and we keep the position. As now we head to the end of lap two and we set a 30.3 as DRS is now enabled and this is our downfall from now. Yellow flags and um, Geo is quite close to us, three tenths. Hopefully he can't make a move as obviously there's yellow flags, but we're going towards the yellow flags now. And he's still trying to make a look. He looks, he backs out just a little bit because of the yellow flag, but I don't know why they don't fully, fully back out. But we are um, going through towards Maggots and Beckett's now. He's getting really close to us and he has a run of us into Maggots and Beckett's, but we keep ahead of him but because of our, um, the line we had to take to defend from him we've lost a little bit of time and now with that DRS and that um, Ferrari power engine he's got past us and now we're not going to be able to fight back because we're not close enough into Stowe and then if we do get close enough <laughs> we just lose all the time because we have no downforce that's why we are so slow in Maggots and Beckett's watch in the rear view mirror the, when someone else comes past them gets close to us they are going to gain so much but now we end lap 4 and we've lost 8 tenths due to that um, but we're going through Stowe now and um, Charles Leclerc sets the fastest lap but we're going to go through um, the club and it's now our pit lap as um, we tell Jeff that we need to block this lap for the mediums as um, Kimi Raikkonen and Kevin Magnussen battling so much that they've lo lost out to me so we're going into the pit lane now and we're just going to break and then we're going to go into the longest pit lane in the entire calendar of Formula One. So, uh, you might as well just make yourself a cup of tea. And um, if you're back for the um, end of the pit lane, well done. <laughs> um, now I can tell you about the um, livery changes. Um, for some reason, my helmet didn't change for this Grand Prix. And um, our team do a really bad pit stop of 2.6 seconds. And I have a theory that because we are not pitting with everyone else, the team is like, ah, we don't need to beat anyone. Yes, you do. We're not pitting with anyone else. So, um, they're just like, nah, we'll just have a break. We're going towards the end of lap 6 now to start lap 7. It's at a 154.9. And we are now 22.9 seconds behind the TV. But as we go across the line for the next lap, Russell, Magnussen and Gasly all pit. But um, Gasly is quite close to us now and we get past both Magnussen and Russell as now Gasly is ahead of us and now we've got to defend from Magnussen the entire race now. Going towards the end of lap 8 now as um, Latifi and Matichi are now pit for their pit stop and um, we're going to get out ahead of them as now maybe Raikkonen we're going to get ahead of him. No, we're going to be behind him. But can we make a move into turn three? Yes, we are. We're going to go ra right round the outside from far back. And we get a move done. And we have to make it stick into turn four on the apex. And we make it stick. And now we're going to have to DRS onto the Wellington Dream. As we're going to now go under the um, Wellington um, Bridge. But now G um, Kimmy's going to go have a fight back at us. And um, we go really deep into the corner just to try and defend from Kimmy. And that hasn't worked out because now he's going to go right round the outside of um, Love Field and he's still there. He's going to go finish the move in um, with Cove and he's going to barge us into the track because we barged him off the track. So um, that's really my fault and we've lost position as now we are now in 17th which is really bad. But hopefully we can stay with Kimi Raikkonen which we seem to have done as we lose the rear end quite massively as now Magnussen's going to go right round the outside inside of the um, club but we're going to keep this position and we uh, stay in P17 um, for, for a while but now we're going to um, understeer so much because of the dirty air that Magnussen is now going to have a run on us he's going to go towards the outside towards cops or oh, don't do that Magnussen 
Don't do that, don't do that, don't do that. Oh, thank God you backed out. Oh, that could have been heavy. Oh, that, that could have been a massive crash. But Kevin is sticking with us for now. And look how much he gains. Actually, no, he's lost. He's lost time, so um, that's yes. really um, weird. Maybe he got some ring damage from when we uh, tapped each other on the um, national pitch straight. Hmm. Anyway, lap 11. And um, lap, um, this is lap Hamilton sits the fastest lap of 127. Three seconds clear of our time. And we've lost 3.8 seconds to Kimmy in front of us as now Russell gets past Magnussen as we are 1.9 ahead of Russell. And we're going to see what the gap is at the end of the lap. It's coming down massively. It's 1.1 now as Charles Leclerc sits the fastest lap as Lewis Hamilton wins the race, so um, Fauci Bias must have had a shocker, as um, Russell has gained 6 tenths, 10, 10 tenths, right, one whole so second on that final lap. Bloody hell, we are so slow in that race. Oh, of course, Geo, our rival, gets the first um, drive today. Adds salt to injury. Yes, another historic win under their belts. Well done to the team at Mercedes. Anthony, tell me, what was it that helped them achieve this success? Well, this was a real team victory. They put together a solid strategy today that appeared well suited to the conditions out on track. The driver did everything that was expected of them in the moment to really execute the team's plan to perfection. A shining example of how F1 really is a team sport. black screen of death again what a surprise i really need to cut these out i'll probably be doing that for um season Mercedes two are on top form once again after an excellent race weekend it's great to see them up on that podium once again well done lewis um winning the british grand prix for another time as bodas loses two places during that race so maybe he pitted a bit earlier and um, like we did and um, lost out to um, Hamilton and Leclerc as um, if you're going to Britain next make sure that you um, you do the um, overcut pit later than your rivals because otherwise they're going to gain so much time on you anyway there getting some XP points and uh, not too bad so we're Almost at level 16, Enough. which is this where I want to be at now, but I am not. As, um, the best of yep, but I um, dropped two positions as both Lewis and Charles gaining. As, um, well, look, Charles gets the first lap the under well the final lap. Well, his final lap. Yeah, it was both of our final lap. Really bad day for in the office for us. As, um, looking back on the fastest lap. Thanks to everyone who joined we us. set and the we'll slowest the two laps. Mine and my teammates' fastest laps were the slowest fastest laps. That's how much we have dropped due to having no downforce. Anyway, um, yeah, we were cutting our way through the field. We um, went up like what five positions during that. And then really dropped like one, the gained Your one due to Vel's diamond, and then um, dropped another one. Could have dropped more. We should have dropped more. Um, we just um, accidentally team. gave him from wing damage, which was um, a little bit annoying. I need to work on my um, cleanness as I had a um, with my friends Appreciate later on time. today. So um, yeah, that's a little bit annoying. Anyway, right over breakdown. Geo has closed in by two points to me. So he is now seven points behind me. We really need to get on our game. We have three races remaining. We have got close in on him so much if we want to win. Anyway, um, Metashita almost at level six. We're almost at level eight. And uh, <laughs> whoopsie. Yeah, I don't really care about um, the um. Um, thingy objectives. I just care that I get money. I don't care if I 
complete them or not. Um, I'm choosing them if I like them on my car. No point having them if you don't like them. I think we've got room for so we got some money now, and then we're gonna re um, manage our sponsors, and we are not gonna get take and bust on board. We're gonna go and change our um, sponsor, and we are gonna go for the one that we didn't go for last um, Grand Prix, and that is. Um, Neon, but we're going to see if any more sponsors have appeared that we want, which are TriStar and Xenon. None of them seem to have appeared, so we're going to go with Neon. And um, yeah, now we will be earning 1 million per Grand Prix weekend, uh, per, week, per weekend. So um, not too bad. Overall, about £60 million per week, which is not too bad if I do say so myself. But we're going to change um, our liveries back to what they um, should normally be and um, <laughs> showing you a sneak peek at what the liveries could look like for the next Grand Prix uh, next season I mean um, but um, yeah we're gonna change the um, sponsors so that Neon is where I want them to be and um, we're gonna change them so that it, they're all evenly spaced out so we're going to change the third sponsor slot to Neon um, why am I taking so long there we go Neon hopefully um, oh, I was looking back at the um, first ever thingy Tristar were one of the um, main sponsors that we could have had yeah not the best option that um, I chose then Anyway, just looking at the car now, showing you what it's going to be looking like in Hungary. Hungary. And, um, yeah. Hungary's next episode. Hopefully we do well. But we're going to see if we can get some R&D points. But, no. First of all, we're going to change all our components f to the second most one of each um, component. To make sure that we have the best over the whole weekend. I don't want the best in practice because it's practice. You want the best to um, the race. Save the best till last. Save the best till the last thing. And because I can't change it between qualifying and race. Yeah. Different components per thingy. But we don't have enough R&D points um, to get anything yet. So we're just going to have a wait. Have to wait. And I'm um, going to get possibly some upgrades. as. um we are going to probably go for, why am I say probably, I, I know what we're going to go for. We are going to go for build time on the powertrain and the sashi. So, uh, due to the fact that the sashi is the worst, we're going to go for the sashi first. So, we're going to go with um, build time because it means that... Um, um, upgrades will come quicker, meaning we can upgrade more, and um, yeah, and uh, we'll do that both for powertrain and the sashi. Um, now, questioning myself why I don't go for the um, durability on build time. As you can see, I am toying between the idea of um, quality control, but I am um, go for the um, oh, what do you call it? I go for the um. Powertrain build time, and I'm not going to explain myself again. But we're going to get um, make sure that all the stuff that we do gives us some money and um, some acclaim. So the first one we're going to go for is air, um, some aero team building and some power department focus. As I'm now trying to change my mind, I don't know why, but we're going to go with power department focus. And the only thing that's going to... Oh, for God's sake. Big one! The only thing that's going to drop money is the um, second one. But we're going to advance for you now. And um, powertrain build time spec one. And we've um, lost some money. But we've got enough money now to get build time on Slashy. Meaning I will go under um, 
1 million, just a little bit. But um, it doesn't really matter. As um, now we're at the Hungarian Trophy. But as, um, this means it's the end. So uh, other noise engineer, act of grab, whatnot. Um, comment your thoughts. And um, until next time, I'm a noise engineer. Share your friends' concerns in the comment and just I've got that one. Um, I've been a racing engineer. Goodbye.